Okay, hello ma'am. Welcome to Real Life Planet Fitness Hindi. So my name is Rakshit. Viewers, so this is Fitness Enthusiast and the DJ Oli SA. Welcome ma'am. Okay, ma'am, so okay, can you just uh, tell me something about yourself that like, where have you started your bodybuilding journey and what make you think to in enter into this industry? You know me so well. So I'm a power lifter. <laughs> I'm, I'm into kettlebells. I um, I started my journey with the sport when I was five years old and that kept me away from all the bad things uh, like we already know smoking, drinking and all of the other things. Uh, then uh, I started to be in uh, to grappling and my sensei he said that I suck a lot of, a lot of it because I was great in technique but uh, I was not that ready uh, physically so he just uh, said okay you can go to the gym and you can try with uh, weightlifting or powerlifting weightlifting was too much for me so at the age of 18 I start to be a powerlifter and till now after 15 years or so I'm still here like it's been a uh, 15 years for you into this industry right into gyming yeah okay like, I, I, I say that uh, usually whenever you are in the gym, there are so many things that you can do in the gym, not only fitness or uh, bodybuilding, right? You can do a power lifting, you can do calisthenics, right? Gym is the building. Then whatever you do there, have fun. <laughs> so I, I just wanted to ask you one thing that how you started your career from uh, DJ itself or from bodybuilding. So what was the first profession of yours? There is no such a thing like that. Like okay. I, it is the course of the life. You you start to. Uh, thankfully, my mom was intelligent enough to. She was an ex athlete, so she said, "Okay, girl, you wanna grow nicely. You have to do sport." So sport gave me that kind of mindset, which is you have to be humble. You have to be always ready. You have to be always on time. You have to work out daily because otherwise, if not, your ass will be flat. And then, obviously, uh, whenever I started my career in uh, at 17 years old, I just uh, quit my home and I just started to be all by myself. So I was always in uh, show business industry, positive part of show business industry, not the negative one. And uh, and then I started with the music and venues. So right now, after all of this, you can see my picture up there. <laughs> Okay, so uh, can you tell us something about this Body Power Expo? What is this all about? Okay, so uh, the way that I love the Body Power is that it's not promoting only one thing because, okay, you promote only bodybuilding, everybody promotes the bodybuilding, everybody promotes this, which is cool, which is nice, appreciated, very cool. But then Body Power has this something more like hey we have calisthenic guys we have kettlebell guys which i love we we have uh, power lifting booth big love we have a lot of things uh, a lot of machines here you can come here you can try whatever you can do your workout a lot of brands who are interested to interact with you it's not just like a show and you're coming and just looking at this amazing people which which is cool which is cool which is nice i'm not mad about it but you know you just interact more with athletes and maybe tomorrow today you are no one like hey one year ago i was a visitor here and today girl <laughs> girl okay so they give you a chance to showcase who you really are and then if you're good enough you will be there ma'am what do you think about the scope of bodybuilding for ladies basically in india in india <laughs> yeah I, I hear from the camera in India. <laughs> Baby, so uh, bodybuilding, uh, it's literally, it's a competition in which you are a pro. You can try, but the, the thing is that all the ladies in the house up there, they think that, okay, I lift once the weight and I will be like her and she's looking like a man. Oh my God. Okay, so you know what girl, let me tell you one thing. So, it takes an amazing DNA, years of sport, like I'm telling you, I'm 15 years in the gym and girl, I'm not that big, okay? So, like yeah, I have my boobs, I have everything, but I will not be that huge. And then, the supplements are on the high level, so, uh, you know what? If you lift heavy, really heavy, and the heaviest 
that doesn't mean that you will look like men so don't you worry child just leave whatever do your sit-ups do your squats do your bench press there is no not such a thing like a, oh this is exercise it's only for men or only for women no one wants to have a chicken legs and no one wants to be like you know only with big ass and that's it everyone uh, wants to look great right everywhere you cannot be Batman here and then, you know. So uh, don't you worry, just leave your uh, things, train your shoulders and be happy. Okay. So would you like to give any message, for, especially for our viewers, for ladies, right? If they have a passion for bodybuilding, why you don't follow that? Why you don't follow? Why, why you should follow? <laughs> uh, girl, listen. Uh, Cases of scoliosi, kyphosi, lombosi, all of these things. Your back is very important. One day, right now you're young and beautiful, you're 40, you're 50, you're... Okay, one day you just wake up and you will be 60 and 70. Girl, in 100 years, uh, the expectation of living nearly doubled. And you want to live to uh, leave the groceries at your 60s, 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 70s. Okay, sorry, I'm Italian, I'm dumb. You want to be fit. You want to go out, you want to take a walk. No back pain. Bodybuilding is also every kind of sport, not only bodybuilding. Uh, if it's technically good, powerlifting. Powerlifting. So if it's technically good, hey girl, do it. Why? Because the um, most, like, treat the muscle as something that is like just a side effect. Okay. And then the casus, even of, hey, India is like nearly 1.5 billions of people, most, more or less, right? 5% of these people are obese. And the government, will not help you in that journey. And you're obese, you are at home, you are doing everything, but hey, you cannot move normally. And majority of this 5% of people are women. Means no delivery, no normal life, no private life, no marriage, no marriage. So, you know, it's, it's all nice and fun till uh, the levels of uh, something will not hyped up and then you suddenly will have a stroke but then how to transport you to to the nearest point right like these things people just don't feel about like okay i have to think about tomorrow and the cases are in millions not in like okay we have 10 people obese in millions we are speaking about millions it's all about your health lift heavy uh, so ma'am would you like to tell us that how was the overall experience for you in being in here in body expo Plus, how frequent you travel in India and what was the progress the last time till date into the fitness industry? Long question, long answer. <laughs> okay, so uh, the first time was six years ago. I just came here for party because I'm a DJ. Hey, so let's do this. But uh, I see that year after year, people start to be aware uh, about their bodies because uh, Instagram, social media are there, shows you amazing bodies, so you are like, ah, oh, I want to be like this girl, okay, or this boy. And uh, I saw more progress in boys, obviously, than in girls because for the stereotypes or whatever they want there, girls are a little bit slower, but hey, we will get there. And this is my... Uh, second year into like the fitness fitness industry so uh, first of all I uh, went around I saw whatever uh, they had to offer and I can see that it's nearly doubled in two years double triple so uh, I think that India is the fastest growing industry right now as in fitness industry etc and a lot of people can actually afford not broke like me but hey <laughs> They can actually afford to go to gym or, you know, do some things. But at the end of the story, girl, if you want to work out, there is no such a thing that uh, can just bring you back. So even in home, you just do your sit-ups, still worth it, right? Okay, so that was all yes uh, for Real Life Fitness Channel. And if you want to have some more updates or more of it and you're more curious, girl, tune in. We are gonna rock.